Hello everyone and welcome back to CSR Classics episode number 8. Uh, first off, I'd like to start out this episode by apologizing for um, the, last, the last episode with my dad interrupting us. Um, like I said, I forgot to lock my door like I usually do and he just decided to walk in right at the moment when we were recording. So I do apologize for that. But, um, shouldn't have any interruptions today because all of my parents... Well, I say all, but my parents and my brother are out, so I have the whole house to myself at the moment. So let's go on in to upgrades here and see if any upgrades have arrived. I believe we bought one last time and we just didn't. So, yep, it was the exhaust. So we'll go ahead and install that. And without further ado, let's get into the video and let's do a daily battle. <clears throat> Yeah, so hopefully you guys are having a great week off. I know I am. Looks like we got some little minis here. So we got a perfect start. Easy. <coughs> Looks like we might get this one. And an easy victory for Daily Battle Race number one. That's a good way to start out the episode. So we will go ahead and take that $1,900. And we will go ahead and do Daily Battle Race numero dos. And, oh, we got a tier 2 car. We have, it looks like, a 240Z. And we got a wheel spin start that isn't very good. Hopefully, though, we can come back and take the victory. Which it looks like we might. And I didn't know there were five years there, but we still won, and that is okay. Yeah, so why don't you guys go ahead and leave in the comment section below what car you think I should buy for Tier 2. Now, I do know that if we beat Marco and we get his car, his car is going to count as a Tier 2 car, so we can use his car for a little bit of Tier 2. But then we are going to have to actually use a... Because we can't upgrade his car as a tier 2, we'll just have to use it as is. Which I believe the performance points are going to be 251, if I remember correctly. So we are going to have to buy a tier 2 car. And ooh, the guys, this race is going to be close. I don't think we should shift. Yeah, either way we'd have lost, but that was a close race. But not bad. We won 2 out of the 3 daily battles. Not bad at all. Yeah, so just go ahead and leave in the comment section below what car you think I should buy for Tier 2. And now challenging, it's only challenging for the Pro, and it's 1500 bucks. so I think we should do that. So we can get some money here, so we can buy some upgrades. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet or not, but I think what I'm going to do is... Um, like off camera just keep doing regulation races because this is gonna be like boring for you guys to watch so I'll just do like more regulation races off camera get some money and upgrades and then once more stuff like the ladder race becomes challenge and Marco becomes a challenge and then I'll record it but just doing these uh, regulation races over and over and over again must be a little boring for you guys so I think this is the last time I'm going to do so and I'll just do it off camera, and so we'll just start out the next episode with us, with our car being a little bit more upgraded than usual, so I don't bore you guys to death here. But yeah, we are actually progressing through CSR Classics pretty quickly, actually, and this series has been a pretty good success so far. We've had a few views also with the few new subscribers and hopefully you subscribers out there oh, excuse me are learning a few things from this series I know I'm learning a few things from restarting this game and I actually didn't think that I would have fun making this series because I already did this game once and it was really like it took me a long time to finally beat it but I think we're going to have fun with this series. I think we will. So we'll go ahead and get to, uh... We'll just do the regulation race for the rest of this episode, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade. 
And then as promised, I won't bore you guys ever again with just doing regulation races the whole episode. I will not do that again. So we've won that race. Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but did anyone else beside me get like a lot of homework to do? Over break, like projects or just regular worksheets? Because I know I did. And it's a pain. Because oh, no one wants to do anything over break. We just want to relax. And uh, just have friends over, you know. Which, by the way, I am going to have a few friends over um, tomorrow. And I think we're going to record a few challenges. I think my friend might be bringing the Bean Boozled challenge. And we might do a few other uh, challenges. We, we might, just might do a, a bottle flipping challenge or, or other stuff. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. But we are going to do challenges and I am going to post them on my channel. And my friend is also going to post them on his channel. I believe I mentioned his channel before. It's Abomb1414. And when I said there are no capitals, he actually corrected me. The A in A-bomb is capitalized, and that's it. So it's capital A, B-O-M-B, 1414, no spaces, and the only capital is the beginning A. So go ahead and check out his channel. He's going to start a new series, Madden 17. Because he got um, that for Christmas. Let's go ahead and check, check him out. And also, uh... Why don't you go ahead and check my other friend out. His name is uh, Matt, but his channel name is MattCraft079, and that has no capitals and no spaces. Um, what he does is he streams. Usually his stream schedule is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday <coughs> at like 8 p.m. And he plays Halo 5. He plays sometimes Overwatch. He'll every now and then throw in a GTA, every now and then throw in a Black Ops. But it's mostly Halo and um, Overwatch. And like I said, it streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. And his channel name is MattCraft079. I'll leave his name as well as my other friend's name in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. Alright, so we have run out of gas. So let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade. Because we've gotten just under $17,000, I think that we should upgrade something a little bigger. For instance, let's see. What what will get us the most power? We're, I think the carburetor will get us close. It will get us pretty darn close to 200. So, but I don't think I want to do that yet. Yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do the carburetor. Just get it in the stage 5. So we will have to wait 2 minutes, but that's alright. Um, so like like I said, guys, I don't want to bore you guys with, um, with just keep doing these regulation races on, on every episode. So probably next time my gas refills, I'm going to do a whole bunch more. Upgrade the car a little bit more until more challenges become challenging. And then I will record. So, um, ho hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.